everyone, it's Sugar Diamond here, and boy am I stressed out right now. I'm trying to film and edit this video the day before it gets published, which is crazy. And also have tests tomorrow and I have a thing that I have to go to high school tonight. <sighs> and then right after I edit this video, then I have to go do a live stream. So this is completely insane. I'm trying to get this DIY because it was the second highest requested. The first one was the skit, which I did on the Amazon Alexa dot. And so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a DIY couch. So the things you'll be needing are some foam board or, you know, just like paper board of some sort. Um, you can use cardboard. I'm using this ni nice white um, foam board you can find at the dollar store or any craft store. You're also going to need some fabric, felt, and you're also going to need hot glue and scissors. Yes. You can use felt and fabric or paper. I prefer the um, more plushy fabrics and felts because it gives the couch more um, realisticness. So yeah, the first step you're gonna need to do to make your couch is simply cut out the following measurements I have on my foam board. Um, now you can make this couch any size that you want or anything like that. So. Um, just keep in mind that you can change the dimensions if you so choose. Um, these are just the ones I, I roughly estimated the measurements. Um, I just like rounded them. Um, so I'll just go ahead and list them off. I have a 2.5 by 1.5 piece. And I actually have that times two. These will act as the two armrests. I Right here I have a 6 inch by 2.5 inch. This one, I believe, is the um, sitting down part. Down here, I have a 0 0.75 by a 6 inch. This is uh, for the little support beam. And right here, I have the 6 inch by 2 inch. This is going to be part of the back um, rest as well as another support beam. So those are all the measurements that you'll need. Once you have those following things cut out, and make sure to do when you're cutting that out, since this is a bit tricky to cut out, make sure you do have adult supervision when dealing with these um, very sharp objects, as well as the next um, step, which will include a hot glue gun. So make sure you also have adult supervision for that. Ah, oh, I surrender! Guys, look, it matches the background. It sort of matches my bow, although it's a different shade. But you know, it's pretty cool. Yeah! Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to grab is the backboard. Now, I'm going to, um, you, you want to measure 0 0.5, 0 0.75 inches, so you're just going to put it in front, and then you're going to take a pencil and mark where they um, meet, you know, because this will help you align your couch piece. Okay, so here I have it all aligned. Um, I just simply measured the top of it. Now you're going to want to take the actual couch piece, which is this one right here, that, and you're going to want to lay this piece down. I'm gluing mine upside down, well not upside down, but like backwards, so when your LPS are sitting, it'll just be the white underneath in case you have a see-through fabric. So here's what it looks like, and you're simply just going to glue like so. Once you have that done, you're going to want to add your small and narrow supporting beam, the 6 inch by 0 0.75. You're going to want to add that to right, right here. And I'm putting mine on backwards so the measurements actually don't show. Now you can see the basic outline of what the couch is going to look like. The last and final step is to add these little sideboards. Now you can try to erase the measurements. Go ahead and just secure them to the sides using glue. And voila, you have the basic outline of a couch. I really like these style of couches. They're like more of the modern type, but uh, however, it does not look quite complete. I feel like it's missing something. 
Oh, of course. We're missing the fabric. Okay, so I'm. you can choose whatever, like if you want felt or fabric or silk, you know, and you can just go ahead and cut it out to measurement in your couch. Decorate it however you want. You can even add stickers or like I have these really cute little flower stickers like this one and I could just add them along the sides if I wanted to I think that would be really cute I do sort of have an idea and I'm gonna go for sort of a classy vibe well not too classy but you know um a little chic touch you know but decorate it however you want and I'll see you guys when I'm finished pizzazzing my couch and voila here's my finished couch so here's what it looks like right here i have a little throw blanket um it's just some fabric i cut and i'll just give you a little tour i guess you could say so here on the sides on the armrest we i have i cut out a little gray felt and the back is just plain because nobody's gonna see back there i left some white here and here because i love having white accents it just adds such a clean touch to the couch i think and as you can see, I have some hot pink or sort of a darker pink um, outline along the whole entire couch, as you can see. And so here's what the couch looks like. And I added some gray as the main color base of the couch. And as you saw earlier, I just took off this little, little lace that I have. Um, see, this can connect, well, like connect, but to the um, couch. And so it can just add some detail, which I think is cute. And it just sort of connects like the fabric latches onto each other. So you can always add touches of pizzazz if you so choose. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. As you can see, I did have some hot glue troubles. So this lace does add a nice cover to it. Um, so nobody will ever know. Well, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you do choose to make this craft or any of my other crafts, please tell me in the comments down below and I'll definitely check out that video. Thanks so much for watching and thanks again so much for 11K subs now, actually. That's crazy. Thank you guys. I love you guys. I'm going to go do a live stream after I edit this. So, well, actually, it's going to be the day yesterday. I technically did it, but not. <laughs> Bye!